How to print from the HP driver with the new look and feel for HP PageWide XL Printer Series. This video will look at the new look and feel of the HP PageWide XL Printer Series driver. The first thing I can see in the new driver is the preset. If, for example, if I regularly print CAD files, I can choose a preset that works for my printing needs. The driver will show me a print preview on the right hand side and define the size in millimeters. If I click on the print preview box, I can install an applet to use this function. This new driver is separated into two parts, basic and advanced. First, within basic, I can choose my document size from the drop down and the job orientation. I can also choose from which paper source by clicking on the paper source drop down. I can also choose a margin layout for my job to determine the area between the edges of my CAD file and the edges of the paper. The color mode and print quality means I can select the output which best suits my document and type. Because I'm printing a CAD file which has no color, I select grayscale and high detail. I can also choose the number of copies I need, in this case one. In the advanced part of the driver with document, I can select the paper type. I can also choose scale, the alignment on the page, and here I can also select mirror and I can also rotate the job on the media. In the output area, I can select whether I want to cut the separate pages of a multi-page job. I can select whether I want the first page or the last page on top. I can define the margins. They're set at 3 millimeters by default. I can also select the destination if I have a stacker or a folder. I can also select a folding style or a custom folding I've created previously via the front panel or an HP SmartStream. In this case, it's a single job which I don't need folded, so I select Basket. The Color and Quality menu of the driver allows me to adjust color settings. This is helpful if I'm printing an image or high color GIS file and I wish to determine the color settings manually. I can add an accounting ID for internal cost purposes if I wish. And finally, I can give my job a custom name to be shown from the panel. I can also choose from a selection of job storage modes available. Once I've selected the options for my print, I click OK and my job is printed. With this new look and feel, I have the ease of selecting the configuration which streamlines my large format printing needs.